Hey guys, Rekpersona is here, back on our video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a drop like Mag Williams. We're gonna be remaking I Got You. So, the final results will sound like this. So if you want these presets right away, make sure to check Future Bounce from 3 and the preset pack from all the presets you need to make Future Bounce like Mac Williams. Besides these, you will get 50 more other presets and that staff music. So now we're gonna dive into it. First we're gonna start off with the chords, sounding like this. So as you can see, it's quite important to, to really layer chords in me. So we did that. Now for the preset. Quite a simple one, just to a super sauce with a lot of unisons, slightly detuned, a little bit less unisons for us to do B, one eight. Never shaped envelope, just a little bit of attack and some release. We shaped envelope too like this. It's a really short one. We assign it to the master pitch and drag it down a little bit. Can hear this will give this kind of effect. It's a kind of hard style chord effect, so that gives kind of a unique type to it. Then we added some effects. So first of all, let me quickly disable all the effects. So first we have the high dimension. Just open it up a little bit more. Add some distortion, some chorus. Just some compression to control the sound a bit more. To make it a bit bigger, we added some reverb and delay. To make room for the bass line, we give it a low cut. And boost the highs a little bit. Then to give some more character to the sound, we added a lead sound to it. Sounding like this. So like the saw wave. And a 488 wave table. It's kind of a form and one. So both have around 7 unisons to it, as a BS FM, giving a bit more sharper tone to it. Then we add a for 1 to the level, filter, and color for the sound. Then we added some effects, first of all the phaser, so I need to open it up a little more, low cut to more room for the bass line. I feel the way to bring out the heights a little bit more. And to finish off, add some reverb. We have the bass line. So, as you can see, it's quite all over the place. So, make sure to add some higher octaves to the bass sound. So, for the preset, it's a saw wave. And lower down one octave. Just a clean saw wave. Filtered. With envelope 1 to it. Have the one with a little bit less sustain, just to add some more punchiness to the sound. Why do we cut off with some drive? And to get the sound more glide, we added more legato to it. Now for the effects, we first add a hyper dimension, add some distortion, quite a lot of tube distortion. Then some phaser, this will really add some more signature to the sound. A bit of OTT to make it a bit more louder and just slightly something queuing to boost the lows a bit more. So what the chords and leads, it sounds like this. So we're already close, we only need a plug sound at the beginning. Sounding like this. So we took one shot from the sample pack for your bass from 3. And then a lot of reverb, OTT and delay to it, so without. It will sound like this. With a reverb, sound like this. And then we added OTT after the reverb. Let's sort of bring out the reverb a bit more. So all the presets together sound like this. We have this drums going on, just a kick and a clap. So all together, it sounds like this. And 
And that's how you make my grooms kind of style drops. So if you like the video, please leave a like. And I'll see more at the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next videos.